Hello everybody, this is Kill Girl, your host of Rusty Relics Farm. Here we are with an episode 2 review of this series, Green Acres. I know this isn't the typical farm-based content I usually post, but that's going to that, that's gonna really pick up this spring. I'm, I'll take you along with my garden project. I'm really looking forward to doing that. And... See if I can make a viable side hustle out of that. So save up and build that small farmhouse I've described. Anyway, we're talking about episode two of season one, which is title that is Lisa's first day on the farm. And original air date September twenty second, nineteen sixty. 65. It's almost 70 years ago. <laughs> Man. Anyway. What I enjoyed about this episode was. Uh, seeing the further gullibility of Oliver Wendell Douglas. And. Also. Getting to know the characters a bit. And like I said, I have I used to watch this show with my grandma a lot when I was a child on reruns on TV land and I got this to recreate those memories and also don't remember watching the entire series through so I'm, so I'm going through it one episode at a time. Sorry about getting back getting off track. It's one of the annoying things of dealing with autism slash ADHD. It's like track so easy. Anyway, back to the episode. Getting to know the character Eb Dawson a little bit. <laughs> That's where my grandma got my nick my childhood nickname. She would call me Eb after the show after Eb Dawson for Green Acres because I would hang around with my grandpa so much. <laughs> And the nickname has stuck ever since. That'll be my nickname for the rest of my life. <laughs> anyway. Seeing Lisa's reaction to the house and Mino's reaction to the house was just priceless. And the one thing that really tickled my historian nut. I mean, tickled my fancy as an amateur historian. I was seeing a newspaper in the cupboard that said Lincoln to give speech at Gettysburg. I don't know if the exact that's the exact wording, but that was gave me a little laugh as a history nut. And then uh, seeing Oliver bumble his way through repairs and slowly buying back stuff from Mister Haney. And let's be honest, if you have any of you farm guys uh, that watch this sh channel, I'm pretty sure your town had their own Mr. Haney. <laughs> um, my grandpa sure knew a few around town. <laughs> And some other aspects of this episode I liked was uh, seeing Lisa return and also seeing the Shady Rest Hotel. And also other fans of this channel in this, especially if you're a farm kid. Since I'll be going to Green Acres first, I'll go through the rest of the rural programming. That was popular at the time. The ones I know of are the Waltons, Beverly Hillbillies, Petticoat Junction, Andy Griffith. Are there any other shows from this time of that ilk? For that time period, please let them down, let them down in the comments and I'll make it a Monday review thing. Yeah, and I'm 
Looking forward to seeing how this series goes. So far, it's going good, and... And since we're going through real programming, this helps combine my love of old school farming and and also TV. And to wrap up the Green Acres series is when I'm done with all the episodes, I'm going to go watch the 90s made for TV film. Return to Green Acres. So if you want to. Keep. Keep joining the. Rusty Relax Farm family. Please like comment and subscribe. And I'm grateful for all of you. That have watched. The. Now this is the second. Green Acres roundup video. And let's see how this goes. I'm. Really enjoying this series so far. And I'll, uh, I'll look forward to your input. And if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And to any new subscribers that subscribe to the channel, welcome to the rest of your Alex Farm family. And the day I can afford to do merch. I will have a special t-shirt titled to only subscribers Rusty Relics Farm Family. Thank you for watching and I hope you are doing well wherever you are.